we're going to do some more stuff on some of this. Uh, to do more with the re religious thing, we're going to do a whole set of that. Uh, we're going to deal with um, a lot of the different subjects. I'm going to touch on a little one here. And uh, we're going to be working on some things. Um, like I said, we're going to fill that video up there. We're going to have the, the driver's license test. Uh, if you've watched the previous videos, which shows the driver's license, how fast it burns, how it disintegrates. There is no, nothing that they can take off from it. It turns to dust, pure dust. It's like taking ash. If you could get something out of ash, besides to find out what it came from, the base elements, there's no way you're going to get information off from it. So that is not going to work. We proved that with just a small fire. <clears throat> so watch that. Um, and we're going to be touching now uh, on some things about Christmas. And I've got an interesting book here. And I've got some other things that have some reference to it. Um, I don't mean to attack any religion. Uh, I'm not attacking a religion. And I'm not going to attack a religion. But I am going to point out, especially with being Christianity, one of the largest religions in our countries, whether you're Protestant, Catholic, Mormon, which I do not consider either one because uh, they consider that a different group, along with several others. Um, many of them have good things, but they've all changed what, the, what the, the whole message was about love and peace and taking care of your fellow man. None of that has happened. All of it has been lost over time. and. We're just going to be going into that more. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit, uh, touch on Christmas. Touchy here. This is one that's really going to take a lot of people off. Right off the bat, we lie to our children. We lie to them about all of these mythical beings that never existed. Now, whether or not you believe Jesus was the Son of God, that's a personal belief. But he really was a true person. And we're actually going to look into the fact that some of these others were based on real people, but was not based on Christianity. And Christianity has really strayed from what the Bible itself. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the Bible and what it actually says. Um, I do not consider myself a Christian. I consider myself a believer in the Bible. Christian is a word that we made up along with so many other things. Christmas is something that we made up. Um, we made up cuss words. But Christmas itself... There's so much about it, and, and this book is a wonderful thing. It's a, a Time Life book that they put out, and it tells the story of Christmas. It goes through and tells you a lot of the history of how Christmas came about and how it was brought in. Um, Christmas was not a religious holiday. Uh, it wasn't until 300, over 300 years after Jesus was crucified that there was a date set, the date December 25th, which uh, uh, there was a... Uh, what's his name? Bill Maher. There we go. Bill Maher did a special where he did a thing on religion. Um, love to sit down and talk with the man. I think he's a very intelligent man. We disagree on beliefs, but he's a very intelligent man, and I think I could show him some things that other people have not been able to. He, he's not been able to get clear answers. That's what I wanted to give you, clear answers. And Christmas is the first one. I'll, I'll go more into it, each one a little bit more when I go into the other holidays. Christmas is, well, as I said, was for over 300 years after Jesus. Uh, they picked December 25th because they did not know when he was actually born. We now can look back in the tax records of Rome and see that at the time that they were doing tax with Caesar Augustus, which we, you know, it's plain out that it was Caesar Augustus, and at the time and where it was, uh, he was probably born in our fall, which would be spring there which would be in the months of, uh, say, September, October, and November. They're guessing somewhere in October, according to the tax records, of when the people went to their home city to do the taxes, which was required by Caesar. So December 25th has nothing to do with Jesus, all right? Besides the fact that you're lying to your kids right off the bat about the fact that he's the one bringing the gifts, why give him the credit in the first place? All right, first of all, Jesus never said that there should be gifts given out on Christmas. Three very powerful kings who came from the eastern countries, which were oriental countries, India, and uh, possibly the Persian Empire, all were eastern kings. These were not poor men. They bought very expensive gifts because of the message they were given. Um, as I said, whether you believe in it religiously or not, you know, this is part of the story. And uh, as I said, we know that he existed as a man, Jesus, regardless of what your beliefs are in it. But with Christians, you are directly lying. You are, you are all right off the bat lying to your children, which is part of the Twelve Commandments. 
And if you'll notice I said 12 there, oh, we're going to go through that too. We're going to go through all 12 commandments and where they are and where they're stated. Another thing that Christians completely forget. But this man that comes every time of the, you know, every, once a year, every t you know, every year to bring presents, forget about it. You can still use it. Tell the children about the great men who actually inspired this. Most of them weren't even Christians, but it inspired the belief. And it gives hope to the children and to us. I mean, it gives us something to think about, but don't tell them it's some magical man. The, the people it was based upon were people like St. Nicholas. Chris Kringle, who was actually, uh, was not his real name, but was a tag name, uh, who, who took around toys and gave it to children. They filled their clogs, uh, which we don't know what that is. That's the, the Dutch shoes. Uh, they have no heel. The Birkenstocks, they kind of patterned them after them. And they would stuff candy and little treats in, in the shoes that were laid outside, because they were always laid outside. Now, this was done at the Winter Festival, which is around that time of December 25th. Besides the fact that Bill Maher pointed out so many different gods were supposed to be born on December 25th. This was done by what was beginning to become the Catholic Church under Constantine, who decided to combine so many things of religion with so many things of Christian religion with the other religions of the city. He was trying to pacify everybody. Great idea, but he still, he totally missed the mark of the, what the Bible was trying to say. God didn't want them all mixed together, otherwise, you know, he wouldn't have had the commandment, have no other God before thee. You know, and, and in this, everything was changed. We'll go into all of that later. But the religious aspect of it for, for Christmas, give give credit to these men. These men were, were great people at the time. There have many, been many great saints that we honor. Of course, we have deemed them as saints, not God, but they, they are saints. They have done wonderful things. But do not idolize and do not lie to your children. That's one of the number one things you do not do as a Christian. It's one of the seven deadly sins is, is lying. And you're lying to your children right off the bat about that and many other things. Tell them the truth. The Bible says not to lie. If you're going to follow the Bible, even in moral aspects, if you're not going to believe in the Bible at all, morally, you don't lie to your children right off the bat. For years, it hurts them, it makes them lose trust in you, and it hurts them all over some presents. That, and we go out, and there again, the presents. Okay, we're going to go back to that. The wise men brought to some things to Jesus because they believed he was going to be a king, a great king, and a, and a prophet. So we have adopted the bringing gifts. Well, of course, like I said, St. Nicholas, Chris Kingle, though, they, they were real people that put gifts into clogs. Um, as I said, Chris Kingle, that was not his real name. Uh, that was a name that was tagged to him, still trying to find research to see what his real name was. We just spend so much money on these gifts and break ourselves and people kill themselves over this. The whole purpose of the holiday is to celebrate Christ's birth, the birth of a person who is bringing the message of love and peace. And we've done everything but bring love and peace. We fight over, over things at holidays. People get in ugly moods, people get shot, you get robbed. They rob stores, people kill themselves over and over and over. It's the highest suicide rate time of the year. And we mass consume. Why? Because a TV commercial and a couple companies are telling us to. Even when Christmas was reintroduced as a pagan, as being a pagan holiday where they put up trees and, and didn't worship them but decorated the trees for the winter festival. So Christmas is all based around the Winter Festival, uh, 12 Days of Gifts, part of the Winter Festival on December, and that brings in the 25th again. On December 13th, they started 12 Days of Christmas where they gave gifts. Then we'd have a huge festival on the, uh, uh, after the 12th day, which was Christmas Day, 25th of December. A huge festival by the Celts. But we have adopted this, all of these ideas, and spent all of this money for nothing, and, and, and we're losing the whole idea, all of it. All the other religions even taught that it was a time of celebration, peace, love, and we have totally lost this idea. So let's remember this next Christmas, and we're going to go into this more. I'm going to do a little bit more on Christmas and more of the holidays, and uh, probably do at least 30 minutes on the, uh, on the religion of the different holidays and what we have done to them and how we need to go back. As I said, even when they introduced it, it was from a pagan holiday. When it was reintroduced in the 1800s to America, it was done to boost our morale. And it did. It helped the country at the time. The idea was good, but we've twisted it now. We have made it a consumer market instead of making it a time of love and caring and peace and bringing people together. And that's what it's all about. Once again, the people is what it's for. And the people is what it's all about. Thank you.
and everybody keep watching. I don't care about your comments, good or bad, thank you for keep watching. Check out these books. Time Life Book has a wonderful series of books that will teach you a lot. Give them to your kids. Thank you.